What are you making for dinner, hon? I'm making pesto, pesto pasta. Oh, okay. What kind of pesto is this? It's the northern Italian version. It's the creamy, creamy pesto. Oh, is this all your ingredients that you have ready right here? Yeah, this is a pretty good chunk of uh, fresh basil. Prices in the U.S. that'd be about ten dollars worth of fresh basil, unless you grow it yourself, which I usually used to. I used to do, and um, no reason to grow it. That's fifty cents here. So where do you get that? Why well, just get it at the market? At the uh, Mercado. At the Mercado. Fruit and vegetable Mercado. It's a very healthy raw dish, and it's a very tasty dish. So, for the creamy part... Is that olive oil? That's extra virgin olive oil. Okay. For the creamy part, what you, all you're doing is making a base white flour sauce. So, same um, principle as making gravy, um, but without stock. So, all this does is uh, some people some people prefer the uh, southern Italian pesto, which is uh, it's just herb. It's just the, the pesto without the white sauce in it. So this is a northern Italian, which is creamy pesto. So it's got the white um, sauce added to it. That's all we're doing. So I'm just going to make a garlicky, oily white flour white sauce with uh, milk base. That's all I'm going to do. So, the green herb pesto is the easiest thing in the world to make. You're just going to blend up garlic, basil, olive oil. Now, I just, I've just i been making this so many years, I just kind of, I don't measure anything. And uh, you got to put the salt, oops. This salt's not that strong, so I can do that. I can be liberal. All right, so we're just going to saute the garlic, and then we're just going to add the milk and the flour. That's all there's to it, with some uh, pepper spice to your liking. Some people prefer black pepper. This is the local Ecuadorian version of uh, chili powder. It's a garlic pepper so uh, spice, and it's I like it a lot. I prefer it to black pepper. What's it then. called? It's called Aji. I like to blend this at the last minute to preserve the vitamins in the green. So is this a cooking show or? <laughs> I'm going to make it into one. You can show the face too. I, I might as well say, this is one of the dishes well, it's actually the only dish that Frank makes. And hey, don't snitch me out like that. This is my day off from cooking, and Frank makes pesto when I desire a day off. It's ridiculous not to eat pesto once a week when you can get a whole plate full of fresh basil for 50 cents. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard from my perspective, you know, because, you know, I'm Italian. I'm just going to wait till this garlic is uh, brown. I do have a little flame on there, so I'm not worried about it. But it does kind of still get hot. Alright, so the garlic is browned, and I actually took the pan off the flame a little bit because the pasta is not ready. But it actually works out good because it cools the oil down, and when you put the milk in, it won't, you know, start dancing all over. Here, I can put some of this Aji stuff in it, which I like this stuff. This is, like I say, I prefer it to black pepper. It's not uh, uh, irritating to the stomach. It looks like cayenne, but it's not hot. It's not hot pepper. It's more like a garlicky chili powder. Anything but garlic, I'm sold, you know. Very possible this pasta is ready. And it is. Okay. Pasta's ready. Okay. Now this is an old trick that you do with this. 
here so it won't stick. Now we're going to just blend this up. secret ingredient some people like to put the juice of a small lime that had quite a bit of juice in it so it just depends on your preference all right you can't have pesto without parmesan cheese so be sure to grate some of that for your dish